Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back for some more EVE Online. Welcome back also to Jita, the largest trade hub uh, in EVE Online for another market discussion video. In today's video, I want to touch on a market that's like, you know, its own little thing, honestly. Uh, it is the trade goods and at least part of these I know are uh, what's known as the commodities market in the monthly economic report, such as, for instance, here, the sleeper components. And these are items that you can find in the game and uh, that you can then sell to an NPC buy order for a set price. Uh, and so this is how uh, some ISK is created in the game. In fact, a lot of ISK is created in the game. I think for the uh, August numbers, this was actually the biggest ISK creation, more than ratting, um, or more than uh, incursions and things like that. So before I actually get started on this market, I do have a question for you guys because I don't know the answer myself, but uh, are there NPC buy orders for every single one of these trade goods, such as here, a Marian wheat, frozen food, quave, all that quave stuff. Uh, there's also a Kumak, I'm not really sure what that is, some sort of, you know, looks like some sort of a Marian uh, item. Uh, honestly, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you know the answer, but can you sell all of these trade goods? to uh, NPC buy orders or is it only a certain amount of them that are then known as commodities? Uh, I am not sure. It would definitely be pretty interesting. But yeah, let's just uh, go over some of these and we'll then uh, take a closer look at uh, some of the ones that I do know are sold uh, to NPCs such as, uh, let's see, where are the criminal stuff here? Criminal evidence. Uh, that's where all these overseer personal effects are in and these are definitely Definitely uh, an interesting item because they are also often used as a reward uh, in the uh, events that CCP organizes. But first of all, we got ARM tokens. If I'm not mistaken, this does not exist anymore. Well, actually, here we go. We still have 250 million ISK for a uh, 1000 ARM token. Not exactly sure how any of this works. It's being traded from time to time and it has a set price. So again, let me know in the comments if stuff like this is actually uh, sellable to NPCs and can basically eventually be phased out because I don't think that you can find ARM tokens anywhere in the game anymore at this point. Another thing are the bounty encryption bonds. Uh, so these are probably part of the new items. Let's take a quick look at the price history. No, this actually exists uh, for over a, re a year already and has uh, basically a price. SEC encrypted bond can be sold for, oh, there we go. This one, for instance, says it's within its description, can be sold for 100,000 ISK at Concord Station. Uh, Well-established means of securing ISK and transferring large amounts of currency, which, uh, of course, 100,000 is not that much. Uh, for us capsuleers, but for uh, non-capsuleers in New Eden, there's actually quite a lot. No idea where you actually get this, but it looks like there are uh, these bounty SEC encrypted bonds for 100k, 10,000 ISK, 10 million ISK, and then 1 million as well. And the pattern that you'll see as well, once there are NPC uh, buy orders, usually at least, here we get 1.4 million for some reason, for something that's only worth a million ISK at Concord. But for most of them, you should see something like this a sell price to players uh, that is just slightly below the buy price that the NPCs are willing to uh, to pay for the item itself so 10 million 9.9 .9 million and the 100,000 is basically uh, a movement fee for whoever actually buys the item takes the effort of moving them to the NPC station where the buy order is at and can then sell them at the full price um, consumer products we saw that just a moment ago there's a lot of small stuff and yeah, a Marian wheat for some reason a single unit of that is being sold for a million a piece buy prices are ridiculously low obviously who the hell is going to ever buy this if i'm not mistaken uh yeah i can't really use that for anything maybe some of these are producible in pi i mean antibiotics i'm not sure criminal dog tags uh, dairy products that's a drop in some missions from what I and frozen food as well from what I uh, remember but yeah again same question I don't think that uh, there are NPC buy orders for any of these items but I could be wrong on that 
And so uh, this is definitely a category that I don't know a lot about, but I've got some of this stuff all over the place uh, after after my playing time. Uh, I know that wasn't there uh, like that Kumak here and then Pax Amaria. That's a book that we actually received during an event as well as like a login reward or something like that. Definitely a, a more unique type of item uh, rather than something that dropped from the game. It really has a little bit of everything uh, in this uh, in this part. Covered research tools and Gorista's data sequence. I think those will be drops, especially this one is decently, um, decently common. And then all of a sudden, we're again finding something different. This is actually used in industry. So some of these trade goods are probably not bought by NPCs, but are, are actually used in an industry process. It's really a little bit all over the place, but uh, yeah, here's an... Um an example of that and same thing uh, no industry just reprocess to some noxium and some isogen for this goristas data sequence interesting criminal dog tags uh, these are often dropped as well from exploration and things like that i'm not exactly sure what you can do with these um, let me know if you can like buy them for rip or something like that uh, but some of them are definitely worth a lot you can see here an angel brass tag selling for 13 million then you get some other that are really not worth a lot, just a couple hundred thousand or even tens of thousands of discs for uh, some of the more common ones. I know that it's at least part of exploration and sometimes they are also uh, part, I think, of missions that give access to extra gates and things like that. But yeah, there's there's types for, there's even a, one called commanders, all right? That's probably going to be mission related. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, none of these really, well, actually here, 10 million for Satel. Uh, Skellens attack and uh, not traded very often. Definitely pretty unique types of items and things like that. But yeah, domination, um, Sancha Serpentis, Shadow Serpentis, True Sancha, all of this should be familiar uh, if you've done missions and exploration. Uh, criminal evidence. This one is a little bit uh, more interesting. We have some DNA samples. I know, you know, Zor, that's a mission, obviously. Uh, it's not going to be worth anything. Yeah, 113,000 is really not worth anything. Again, not sure if you could trade this out uh, somewhere in like a Concord station or something like that. Um, just a little bit of an explanation and then an attribute doesn't say much. Uh, but that, that would be interesting, of course, if actually all these trade goods would have NPC buy orders somewhere. It could definitely increase their value. And then the most common ones, right, the Overseer personal effect, they're actually guaranteed drops in some of the exploration sites and they are used quite often in events by CCP, such as the drone event that, just, uh, that we just had. And yeah, look at the impact of some of these events. So a massive influx of the items does have a price response, but honestly it's relatively tame from 3.25 million down to 275 that's not the end of the world on such an increase in supply and this is fully that story of course these personal effects are actually bought by Conco by dd and concord in their stations um, and thus uh, you always have to uh, you know sell them at a discount compared to that NPC buy order in order to sell them to another player who will then take the effort of moving them to an NPC station. I personally am like hoarding all of them as much as possible. We'll obviously wait for this storm to pass. We'll give it a couple of months probably until uh, you know the last event, this one now for the drones uh, that, uh, that drops these overseer personal effects. Uh, or you can just sell them to the NPCs right now, of course. If you want to do to take that trip to a DD or Concord station, you're still getting the full price there, of course. But yeah, if we keep going through some of these, you can uh, see on all of them that we get a pretty, uh, well, not that big of a drop, right? From a little bit under 10 million to a little bit above 9 million. It's not the end of the world, considering the amount of volumes that you're seeing here. Uh, but this is definitely a big part of the commodities market that uh, should boom when it comes to the monthly numbers for September and October here as well because these were drops uh, from the final boss in the drone event. 19th tier seems to be a little bit less impacted. First tier, yeah, that's probably not worth a lot. Yeah, 10,000 disc. Um, but again, 20th, 20th tier, 21st tier, I've seen some drops for, uh, for these tiers as well. So you have some of those volume spikes and a big impact, of course, from what happens. That's actually a bigger drop here in price, I think, from almost 118 million ISK down to less than, oof, at the moment, 
99,000, really? Yeah, disparate selling at 129,000, oh, from 180. Yeah, it's half the price uh, for this 50 year overseer. That's like yeah, pretty common, it seems. But yeah, very, uh, very clear uh, sign that at the moment, you really shouldn't be selling these on the market, but you should either be holding on to them for a better price later down the line, or as I said, go and find a DD or Concord station and sell them there. Filaments are part of the trade goods as well. Um, I don't think there are buy orders of these for sure. Uh, from NPCs to, to set like a minimum price, but uh, these are entirely dominated uh, or uh, determined by uh, supply demand on the market. And so the higher tier you go, the more expensive they become, of course. Industrial goods, um, broken broadcast notes, that actually looks like some salvage stuff, potentially garbage. <laughs> garbage is considered an industrial good as well, uh, but most of these are really not very valuable. You get a couple of exceptions. Um, don't see anything industry-wise that these can be used in. Um, so again, why does a defunct drone sensor module go for 2 million ISK? I have absolutely no idea. Um, kind of weird. Uh, again, let me know in the comments what you do with this. If you can sell it somewhere, it's. Uh, I have some shattered Villard wheels uh, lying around our uh, lying around somewhere. That's actually used in industry. Some of them apparently used in some implants and things like that. So uh, very very big list here for the industrial goods, uh, but stuff like this dummy is actually going for a million. And I don't see an industry use for these. So definitely one that I, I need to learn a little bit more about. Um, insignias, a little bit like the tags. These definitely have a use in game as well. I think rep related. Uh, narcotics, I uh, don't think these are worth a lot, especially since it's, if I'm not mistaken, been decriminalized of you flying with these and they, you know, drop quite often in missions. For instance, then the Nexus chips. Amar, Kaldari, let's see if we can find something on the description because the value of 10 million ISK is not that bad. Uh, data chip stores, the key elements of ships are AI, uh, ship AI and is used primarily for controlling vessels. Autonomous functions, the AZ-1 is designed for battleship class vessels. But again, I'm not seeing an industry tab. I have absolutely no idea if this is again something that is like bought by Amar Navy NPC buy orders or is this used somewhere else? The drone ones, 50 million, that's got to be used somewhere. Um, yeah, don't, don't see it spotted in the item itself that perhaps needs a little bit of work because 50 plus million, that should not be an accident uh, for, for these types of, of uh, Nexus chips. And then all sorts of uh, potential passengers, lots of this stuff drops from missions. Um, not really worth that much, but it's our elite slaves, the exotic dancers, uh, the Fido, that one is actually pretty popular, a little bit of a, a keepsake that I think a lot of players love to have, uh, just uh, because it's pretty pretty cute icon and it's definitely part of, uh, of the lore in EVE Online but you also have the freed slaves. Uh, I think some of these have a use in the sense that they're needed for uh, completing certain missions. Uh, but overall, yeah, I don't think NPCs uh, buy these. A slaver hound also definitely pretty unique little item there. And then we get some tourists. I think if you do missions, you know what this is all about. Political paraphernalia. We've got some activists, some vouchers. That are worth 149 million there's only one on the market uh, i have absolutely no idea what this is all about candidate voucher for sorrow for royten used to determine the biggest supporters of this particular candidate for selecting candidate emissaries uh, liberation games reward tokens medallions pro trade pamphlets i don't know virgin forest pulp so there's some weird stuff in the political paraphernalia for sure. Some radi radioactive goods, so confiscated viral agents, plutonium and toxic waste. Here, I, I don't think there's anything to do with these considering the very low price that uh, these go for. Plutonium, legality, all right. Never really seen that uh, tab before, honestly. Um, but uh, can it... You'll lose standings, Jove Empires, 
Um, find 300% of estimated market value, find 120. So I'm not sure, maybe you can sell these somewhere. To me, it would make sense that like pirate factions would be interested in confiscated viral agents and that if you find maybe a Serpenti station that there would eventually be an NPC buy order uh, for this type of stuff. Um, security uh, tags, this is to um, improve your standing um, as, a, as a pirate so I'm not exactly sure what it's called but your security status I think uh, to get that one up uh, you have these clone soldier uh, tags that you can find just uh, through rats I think in belts uh, and then another big one here are the sleeper components of course where you can see that we actually have a very very steady price range ancient coordinated database 1.5 million um, the uh, neural network analyzers it's going to be 200k in the npc stations uh, and then we get a sleeper data libraries 500k selling for just below that and then the sleeper drone ai nexus selling for just below 5 million so probably 5 million wherever it is that you can sell these does it tell us in the item uh digital soul of these strange creations uh, coveted as the component must be only for most drone technicians in New Eden would be use them this little doubt however so I couldn't tell you it doesn't even say in the item itself where you can sell it for the full price but there are uh, NPC buyers since this is part of the commo commu um, commodities this is the famous blue loot coming from um, from wormhole space and I mean this is a very unusual chart right so stable basically means that most of the selling must be happening very close to here uh, straight to the npcs in range for this chart to look like this and uh, that's kind of interesting uh, i would have thought that uh, you know if ccp wanted to do something about potentially like uh, isk inflation and things like that that they could also develop sort of a dynamic system uh, depending on how much supply is coming in to those npcs of these commodities uh, that they, that could also have an impact on the price that these um, npcs are willing to offer uh, to the capsuleers for the items themselves but you can see here super stable it's straight up isk printing that item 1.5 million this one goes for 200,000 disk this one for 500,000 and this one for 5 million isk and it's been stable uh, for a very long time but yeah if you want to if you want to decrease isk creation from the commodities i think a dynamic system there would make sense you could also create regional differences uh, meaning that transporting this stuff will have more value and you'll probably see then sell prices go uh, quite a bit lower all of a sudden uh, because of that as well and this creation could go down it's a lever that if ccp wants to i think they could have in hands pretty easily and quickly uh, we also still have the old Starbase charters. Uh, this is from the old days of the POS system. Uh, I still remember this stuff, especially the Galente ones, because if you wanted to set up a Starbase, so the old stick, the tower that you set up uh, close to a moon, I think it was, uh, then you need it uh, for uh, putting it up in HiSec. You basically consumed these uh, charters. They were just bought from the NPCs, and I think they're just lying around in the game and just still being traded for super, super low prices. Uh, their need is completely gone again an npc buy order could probably help to phase these out uh, then we get some strong boxes all right never seen that icon blood raider stand up module blueprint armor cache not really sure sounds like this could be something uh, that is found uh, building cayman class dreadnoughts uh, that could have something to do with the outpost with the pirate outpost or something like that it's actually another very very big list uh, including some uh, that have like 31 27 million in price range as well don't see any industry uses for these either but yeah another category that i know absolutely nothing about strong boxes triglavian data uh, I do uh, have a couple of these, by the way, so you could uh, you could find some of these uh, trinary data streams somewhere in the old hives in Wormhole Space. I did a couple. I think I got a couple of these uh, data streams, but again, super uncommon item. Uh, some of them have a price, but uh, are these bought somewhere? Honestly, couldn't tell you. 
And then finally, we get some unknown components as well as part of the trade uh, goods. Um, Anti-Kytera uh, element, that one I think is interesting because yeah, it is used in implants. Uh, very specifically some savior type implants. So that one has a value of 3 million, uh, but then the Barbican element, you know, none of these exist. I think this was part of another sleeper drifter storyline uh, thing, uh, which uh, I'm not sure what it uh, what it should represent. One Vidit element <laughs> trying to be sold for half a billion uh, in this. Well, perhaps, you know, you can get lucky with some of these super unique items. Uh, but yeah, it would be interesting, of course, if CCP would actually set up NPC buyers for more of these and maybe could phase some of them out. Aurum tokens, not really sure what that's still doing here. Uh, but all right, it is uh, a very uh, different category from everything else that I usually check and that we usually know and expect in EVE Online. That is that everything else is basically either part of uh, an industry process or the end product of an industry process, right? Uh, blueprints, all of the manufacturing and research, boost or consumables but all of that stuff is basically produced produced in that cycle and the trade goods here are definitely uh, a unique mechanic a lot of these are the commodities as i've said sold to npcs just they create isk into the game a lot of isk into the game uh, some of them are used in industry uh, some of them are used for standings, like uh, the tags mostly, uh, and then some of the others, I don't know, maybe they're just vanity items that still hang around in the game. Um, but uh, uh, it's it's quite diverse, and uh, yeah, maybe uh, you know learning this market could create some opportunities as well uh, for people that figure out where they drop and then sell them in the right spot. There's always opportunities in the market for Evo Line, of course, and yeah, uh, a little bit of a, a one-off. But hopefully, it can also give some of the new players that come across trade goods and then really wonder what is this, what can I do with it. Uh, doesn't give all the answers in this video, but hopefully in the comments some. Of of you guys can give us pointers about some of these categories where I also don't know exactly what they are about. And yeah, it adds to the complexity of the marketing EVE Online. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.